This is Richard with JR Propo, and in this video, we're going to be synchronizing the cyclic servos again, this time with a non JR helicopter. The helicopter in this case is a Taro, now a Steam 550, which I have quite a bit of time on with these servos, but not synchronized. Now, in order to have synchronized servos, you will need three JR 2K Game Changer cyclic servos. JR XBus programmer with the latest software, a five port XBus hub, three adjustable JR servo arms, a swashplate synchronizing tool, such as the prototype JR tool right here, and appropriate power supply or BEC. Now for purposes of this video, we're using the helicopter's BEC to power the electronics. The motor has been disabled, so it can't start uh, accidentally for safety reasons. Now, in order to prepare for this, with the servos at neutral, I've already manually adjusted all three servo arms and then adjusted the lengths of the push rods between the servo arms and the swash tool to the correct length. So all the arms are level when connected to the swash plate tool. It's very important on the swash plate tool that it be able to move very easily up and down the main shaft with as little play as possible. I've tried a number of different things to lubricate the main shaft during this process. Grease, light oil, tri-flow. Just tried Marvel Mystery Oil and that worked extremely well for this. Um, in order to get a good sink, you have to have a helicopter with good stiff mainframes. And you have to have servos that are mounted very firmly. If your servos are mounted in grommets, you'll want to, at least for purposes of the synchronization exercise, you want to make sure the servos cannot move around at all. Okay, now we have the servos programmed so that the Express programmer can identify them. The rear servo is programmed as 1-1, the right-hand cyclic servo is programmed as 50-1, and the left-hand cyclic servo is programmed as 49-1. The rear servo is going to be our master servo, and each of the two follower servos are going to learn and synchronize to its position at each of 120 degrees in its rotation. This entire process takes 15 to 20 minutes overall. All three of the servos are connected to a five port X bus hub, which we mentioned earlier, and to the power supply in the programmer. It doesn't matter which servo is connected to which port in the hub because it's it's basically a bus. Okay, we're going to begin by turning on our programmer. And then we're going to scroll down using the, the center bottom button and rotate the knob. It says position in there now. We're going to rotate it all the way to the last option, which is synchro mode. Press the right hand button. Then hit the right hand button again to start. And it's going to ask us to manually set the highest angle the servos will reach. So we just lift them up gently by hand and press the button on the programmer to let it know where that is. Now it's asking us to move them to the maximum low angle. And because they're just about over center, I'm going to help rotate them a little bit as I push them down gently. I'll go all the way down to the bottom of their rotation. Okay, max angle low. Press the button to acknowledge that. From here on in, everything happens automatically. First thing it's going to do is it's going to compare the neutral position of the right hand servo, the follower servo. It's going to match it to the elevator servo, the master servo. Now it says auto adjust up. So the elevator servo is going to start moving in one degree increments in the right-hand cyclic servo is going to match those increments, synchronizing itself to the elevator servo. Now this, as this does take about 20 minutes to do, we're going to be stopping the camera and starting it again periodically. A lot of this is repetitive. You'll see this arm moving up and down. Hopefully you can see the push rod, the ball link moving a little bit. Uh, as this one moves, Generally, you'll get this one moving quite a bit and then it will damp out and then it will this one will move again and this 
process will repeat. So we'll come back when the servos have moved uh, appreciably. Once in a while when you're doing this, you'll see a timeout in the display or an error. And if that should occur, just go back, make sure you uh, check the programming on all three servos to make sure one is 1-1, one is 50-1, one and 40, the other is 49-1, and just start the process again. It just happens once in a while. We're almost to the top of the servo travel. Something I should point out is that even though you have to have XBus servos to do this and an XBus programmer, the servos remember the synchronization when used in PWM mode. So I have not seen any fly barless units so far that doesn't operate in PWM mode. So the synchronization will remain whether you're using a JR Tags Mini, a Beast X, a V Bar, an MSH Brain, uh, what have you. Right about to the top of the travel, we should see the uh, the movement cease on this push rod very shortly, and then all the servos will descend toward their neutral position. And this servo will start synchronizing with this servo on the downward half of the arc. Okay, the right-hand cyclic servo has finished its upward synchronization. It's changed from auto-adjust up to auto-adjust down, and now it's going to repeat the process for the downward arc on the right-hand servo. Again, we're going to be starting and stopping the video because much of this is very repetitive. The right-hand cyclic servo is almost to its lowest point in its travel. Okay, the servos have reached the bottom and are going back up to neutral. So the right-hand servo is synchronized. It's not going to start the left. It's going to check the neutral first. And then it will, which you see, auto neutral three in the display. And then it's going to start synchronizing the left-hand servo on its upward travel to the elevator servo. Now it says adjust up three, servo number three. Still synchronizing the left cyclic servo to the elevator servo, and it's very close to the top of its arc. Okay, the left hand cyclic servo has reached the peak of its arc, and now it's going to change from auto adjust up to auto adjust down three. Now it's going to begin working on the downward arc, matching the left-hand cyclic servo to the elevator servo. The left-hand cyclic servo has moved down further in its arc and is getting relatively close to the bottom. Left-hand cyclic servo still synchronizing, till, still working its way down. Okay, it's gone all the way down. It's moving back up toward the center and we should see finish very shortly. Okay, synchronization is complete. Anytime you synchronize servos, you need to do a complete reset up on your fly barless unit and you need to reduce 
the cyclic gains on the gyro by 10 to 15% as a starting point.